So today I am checking out San Diego's first all vegan, all gluten free, female owned ice cream scoop shop. Kula was recently named best ice cream by San Diego magazine readers. Ooh, no, I looked at it's mine. Wait, everything, even you? Free and vegan. Libby, I love this. Taking over the ice cream scene. I am, right? I'm building my ice cream empire one shop at a time. Okay, <laughs> what does Kula mean? Kula means community in Sanskrit. I like the idea of Kula meaning everyone can share dessert together and then people who are gluten free or do have dietary restrictions don't have to feel left out. After going through all those different issues, I realized that it, there were two things that really caused me the biggest problems and it was inflammation from dairy and it was also the gluten. When I couldn't eat dairy and gluten, I couldn't enjoy any of the desserts I wanted. When you go out to eat a lot, people get ice cream and stuff and you felt left out. So oh. that's why you started this place? Absolutely, I felt so left out. I mean, I couldn't like, to go on a date, someone's like, let's go get Froyo. And all I could eat, eat was the one raspberry sorbet or something like that. You can never find one that doesn't have either. And so when I finally first went to my first all gluten-free, all vegan shop in Austin, Texas, I was inspired and got to do it myself here in San Diego and bring that concept here. And I love dessert. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> So everything is made with different nuts and seeds. We have the sorbets, which are made from waters. Then I have the sunflower seed bases, which are kind of one of our specialties. The coconut milk bases, the cashews, we have peanut, and then we have two almond bases. Both of those are chocolate. So it kind of is goes along this tasting journey. This one is watermelon chip. So it's watermelon sorbet with some mini chocolate chips, which are our watermelon seeds. Woo! That tastes like an actual watermelon. We love stone fruit. And the next time we went and talked to the farmers, they had a lot of plums and pluot. What's a pluot? It's like two different types of fruits, you know, that they genetically cross. Plum, apricot. Oh, wow. Holy crap. <laughs> Peanut butter chip, no sugar. No. Do you want to do chocolate? Do you want to do a, um, the pistachio? Okay. Chocolate chip cookie dough and sunflower rum or coffee? I'm so <laughs> overwhelmed. So imagine going into an ice cream shop and not being able to have any flavors. And some of my customers, they come in and they're like, we can have any of them? And they're like, wait, I can have the gluten-free vegan waffle cone? You can have a waffle cone here. It's just such a rewarding feeling for me to be able to give that to them. You might convert me to veganism. If you came home, like, if my lover came home with a bucket of this. But hey, it won't make your stomach upset because there's no dairy in it. <gasps> so I won't get bloated and have a food baby? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, even better. See? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, who are you? Oh, you might have to like it. Best friend. <laughs> 